This grate used to have the propane tank mounted on that side, and you saw the mounting bars that I was taking off. It also had this big wooden box mounted on it, which housed the power inverter, a 2000 watt power inverter by Outback Power Systems. And now it's gonna be mounted inside the trailer here for the new solar power setup. This is the plan. To that platform, I will be mounting this metal crate with two golf cart batteries, six volt, wired together to create a 12 volt battery. Right before the Baja trip we went on recently, Izzy's father and I replaced the four Optima blue top batteries that were nine years old and were failing and replaced them with these golf cart batteries. Golf cart batteries are six volt, but they have a huge capacity. One of these batteries is 210 amp hours. Now, to put that into perspective, one Optima Blue Top battery is 55 amp hours. These have almost four times the capacity, and they're only 83 bucks a piece. The Optima Blue Top batteries, 300 bucks a piece. We took a grounding wire and hooked it from the positive terminal on one battery to the negative terminal on the other battery. Now, what this does is double the voltage. It doesn't double the storage. So it's a different way of connecting them in series. The storage remains the same, but the voltage doubles. Now the last thing I want to install on this platform, which will go right here, a Kodiak solar generator. These guys seem to be really setting the way as far as having a portable solar power generator with easy just plug and play solar panels to charge it. You don't have to worry about a controller, none of that. It's so easy. All right, here we go. This is awesome. Oh man. Wow. So Right here, right here we got two terminals so we can connect this in series with those other two golf cart batteries. Then one little plug in right here for the solar panels. Connect them, disconnect them. We got one 30 amp plug, six 110 volt AC plugs, two cigarette lighters, four USBs, and I think that might do her. Built inside as well is a 1500 watt power inverter with a 3000 watt surge. Plus you can charge it via car lighter, cigarette lighter, AC 110 volt wall outlet, or via wind or solar. I believe it comes with a strap. Yeah, it comes with a strap inside. You can literally throw a strap around, bring it anywhere you want. The battery is 90 amp hours. If we connect this in series with these, we'll have 300 amp hours total for the solar setup. This is not gonna be a review video, in my opinion. A review takes a long time. Now the real test will be how long this sucker survives on the road. Now that I've been doing this for the last two years, I decided that if I'm gonna review any kind of gear, it's gonna to need to have survived at least one year on the road. Otherwise, I don't wanna mess with it. The gear that I want, that I'm actually gonna keep in my arsenal, I want to last. So once this thing has proven itself one year on the road, then I'll make this series that I'm gonna start. In the meantime, I'm gonna be using out a lot, including right now. Let's see how it does with two grinders. On button. It's got a nice digital screen, check this out. Runs nice and quiet, Let's see what happens. As you saw, it shows the reading of the current wattage output. Let's try it with two grinders. And yes, I don't have freaking safety glasses on or here in protection. I'm gonna keep them far away from my face and my eyes. When you start trying to actually cut bolts or whatever metal you're trying to get through, it will pull more wattage. Works pretty slick. This is like scientific <laughs> quality. Right? I, I like that Mont's one. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need two. Along with it, they also make 100 watt solar panels or 50 watt solar panels. In the past 10 years, I'm sure solar power energy has made leaps and bounds as far as technology goes. So I decided to just replace those almost 10 year old 40 watt panels with four 50 watt solar panels. Right here. And they have rails on the side so you can connect them right up next to each other. We gotta figure out a layout on how we wanna mount this up. Try to utilize the entire platform for space. I think it's actually good to have all this extra room mm -hmm. for the wiring. Yep. By allowing this much space in front of the solar power generator, I'm gonna be able to run wires and not worry about hitting anything. I can have a box right up against it. Same with right in between here. The battery terminal, where I'm gonna connect these other two batteries in series is right here, so that'll provide 
all the room I need in here. So we're kind of giving some cushion room all, around all this. So check this out. I save these U-bolt brackets yeah. when I cut them off suspensions. And what I like about this is I'll make a big hoop here. And then it's super easy just to grab onto. Oh, dang. So that's your tie down point. But I like using these big hoops because it's so easy with a different set of common, whatever combination of clamp or yeah. whatever it goes Ratchet right on. Ratchet strap even or whatever yeah. you needed. So that is cool. More recycling, more Jeep recycling. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We need a grinder, some safety glasses. I'm gonna start cutting off these solar panels. I'm not gonna cut them off. They are actually locked on right here on this channel. The locks have been on here for about 10 years, so the keys were unfortunately lost. I'm just gonna cut them off. One down, three to go. My brother actually wants these for his chicken coop. He wants to have like a solar power setup for a heater and maybe a water pump or I don't know, a couple different things. This access hole right here is where all the wiring can feed in through the cover. I'm gonna continue to use this hole for the new wiring and the new solar panels. Don thinks he has some more aluminum framework, so we're gonna go look. That's a cool thing about collecting a lot of Jeep parts and a lot of metal from different projects over the years. Don seems to have everything. <laughs> Jeep graveyard. I never mind walking around this property. <laughs> This little piece of rubber will be used as a vibration isolator. We're going to place it on the bracket and it will go in between the platform and the floor like so. You got to knock it through use this. We're upgrading the framework of the solar panels. It's 2x2 two two aluminum angle. done man. Nice. <laughs> there you have it. The new solar panel frame with the solar panels. We completely rebuilt the aluminum frame for the solar panels. A little bit of modifying was needed right here to fit for this little inlet for the wires. Besides that everything turned out wonderful. And then these are actually chained up right here on this rail. They slide in together. There's metal contacts right there. And both of these solar panels are now chained up and you'll need to connect them with one point right here. Like so. So with two wires, all four of these solar panels are connected. The wires run through the hole in the roof of the aluminum cover and they plug into this four port connection box. This allows you to connect up to 12 solar panels, three in a row, four different plugs, 12 total. On the back side of this connection box is one wire, which then feeds to the back of the Kodiak in this port right here. Just like that, I now have four solar panels recharging this solar power generator. Easy as pie. So altogether, all you need is four things. The solar generator, the wiring, this connector, and the panels. Now my setup isn't 100% complete. I will be throwing a cover on these wires. I still gotta connect the batteries and strap them down. I'm gonna be pulling everything back out because this trailer is a 1965. I decided now would be a good time to bedline this floor and stop whatever rust has formed. Once that's done, then I'm gonna have the setup more permanently put in there. 
But what's gonna be nice is that anytime I can just unstrap this Kodiak generator, pull it out, then bring it on a hike, do whatever I want with it, it'll be very mobile and easy access. As far as being tech savvy, electrical savvy, this completely changes the game. Just plug and play, simple to do. Whether you guys wanna get one today or whether you wanna wait and see how it performs, I can get you guys 20% off using I am Jake as the promo code. Put a link in the comments below. And with that, I'm gonna end this video with some thank yous. Danish Galani, Ethan Connor, Tom Hooten, Philip Smith, Joshua Zachary, and Mike Gutierrez. Good, Gutierrez. These fine people have became Patreon pledges supporting this journey and I just wanna take the opportunity to thank you guys so much for what you're doing, for helping us out, for keeping this journey possible.